Welcome to Market Monday. My name is Terry O'Connor from Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Town Center in Burbank. Today we are going to take a look at the national housing market. Newsflash, it's all over the place. Here are some of the highlights. Existing home sales sagged for the eighth consecutive month to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 4.71 million. Sales slipped 1.5% from August and a whopping 23% from the previous year. However, if you dig deeper into the numbers, you can find some good news. The median existing home sales price increased 8.4% from one year ago. So if you bought a home a year ago, its value probably went up. Three of the four major US regions notched month over month sales contractions while the West held steady. On a year over year basis, sales dropped in all regions. The housing sector continues to undergo an adjustment due to the continuous rise in interest rates, which eclipsed 7% for the 30 year fixed mortgages. Expensive regions of the country are especially feeling the pinch and are seeing larger declines in the numbers of sales. Many very high priced homes are being taken off the market. Case in point, actor Mark Wahlberg, whose $81 million estate in Beverly Hills was just removed from the market. According to page six, sources say that due to rising mortgage rates, Wahlberg realized it was not a buyer's market and decided to hang on to the home for a bit longer. By the way, the HOAs alone on that house is are $3,000 a month. Oh, the rich, they're just like us. Back to the numbers. Total inventory, inventory registered at the end of September was 1.2 million units, which was down 2.3% from August and only 0.8% from the previous year. Unsold inventory sits at a 3.2 month supply at the current sales pace, unchanged from August and up from 2.4 months in September, 2021. Here's the thing though, despite the weaker sales, multiple offers are still occurring with more than a quarter of home sales selling above uh, list price due to limited inventory. The current lack of supply underscores the vast contrast the previous major market with the two previous major market turned down in 2008 when inventory levels were four times higher than they are today. Properties typically remained on the market for 19 days in September, up from 16 days in August and 17 days in September 2021. 70% of homes sold in September 2022 were on the market for less than a month. That is still relatively quick. First time buyers were responsible for 29% of the sales in September, unchanged from August 2022, and slightly higher than 28% from September 2021. Distressed sales, including uh, foreclosures and short sales represented just 2% of sales in September, a marginal increase from 1% in August 2022 and September 2021. This is very good news and makes the current market very different from the downturn of 2008. September shows that the largest year over year median list price growth occurred in Miami, followed by Memphis and Milwaukee. Phoenix reported the highest increase in the share of homes that had their prices reduced compared to last year, followed by Austin and Las Vegas. On a personal note, I was in Austin recently and I viewed some really great properties, but I was really surprised at how expensive Austin was. It's almost Burbank expensive, which leads us to existing home sales in the West, which includes California. They were identical to last month at an annual rate of 880,000 sales in September, but down 31.3% from one year ago. Here's the interesting part. Despite the decline in sales, the median price in the West was 594,000, a 7.1% increase from September, 2021. So if you bought a home, your home a year ago for 800, it is now probably worth about 7% more than last year. I asked, I asked Alexa how much that was and she told me $56,000. That's a good investment. In summary, I would say it's actually a very good time to buy or sell. It's a very balanced market, not favoring buy sides or the sell side. Buyers are not going to have the crazy multiple offers and sellers will have at least a few solid offers at asking price. Their homes will sell and their homes will sell quickly. So if you're thinking of selling, please contact us here at Better Homes and Gardens and we can create a personalized selling strategy to make sure your home sells quickly and for top dollar. 
If you're interested in buying, don't let the high interest rates scare you. Our office works with a fantastic group of lenders that offer a variety of packages and strategies to get you in your home. We are here for you to help you achieve your real estate goals. Thank you for listening. Again, this is Terry O'Connor, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Town Center in Burbank. 